All right, folks, welcome back to the program. On the line now, we have Chris from across the pond in England. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. Go ahead, please. Uh, so what I wanted to talk about was um, Obamacare and or uh, social health care. So as you know, over here in England and most of the industrialized world anyway, we have uh, socialized medicine. You are against that, correct? Yeah, because we're already seeing the negative effects of it. Really? I'd actually say it's working pretty well. I can call Is that why premiums now. have increased an average of $3,065? Uh, could you repeat that? You, you cut out a little bit. I said premiums in this country for the typical American family have increased by $3,065, and our president promised that they would decrease by $2,500. That's not working out, is oh, it? Oh, God. No, I, I, I've been to America. I studied there for a little bit as part of uh, foreign exchange. It's, 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 it's nice. Um, <clears throat> but um, personally, I, uh, I, I am a liberal, and um, I've talked to a lot of liberals from America, and frankly, they don't like Obama either. Um, mm -hmm. from, from, from their point of view, he's too conservative. Can I ask you a question? Because I'm, I'm just curious. Um, why, oh, are, yeah, yeah. why are you a liberal? I am a liberal mainly because um, I, I disagree with a lot of conservative arguments. But what uh, what liberal arguments am, I, what liberal arguments do you agree with, though? Uh, mainly the social ones, like you know, gay marriage, that sort of that sort of uh, shebang. Um, but I got to say, like fiscally, I'm mostly conservative because um, lower taxes do they they can stimulate the economy. Um, well, then don't call yourself a liberal. I'd say you're more moderate. Yeah, uh, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, so can you give me some examples of how uh, socialized medicine has not worked elsewhere? Well, uh, do you know the case of Jack Tag? Hayden's talked about this many times. Oh, I, I know. Uh, he got the British Health Care Committee denied him coverage because he was only going blind in one eye. Before they could start giving him coverage, he had to be going blind in both eyes. Canada has a lottery uh, system. We've had prime Canada. ministers from other countries coming to our country for health care because it's better than where they are. I mean, we have, before Obamacare was implemented, we had the best health care system in the world. Not perfect, but the best. What this is doing is basically socializing health care. It's a socialist policy. And as a conservative uh, who believes in our founding fathers and our, our founding principles... I don't like socialism because I believe you work hard for your own benefits, for your own life, to pursue your own interests, not to, not to subsidize someone else's. Um, one thing about Canada, I have uh, multiple friends on uh, from from Canada that I talk to on um, you know Xbox, social media, that sort of stuff, and um, they actually don't have a lottery system. They can call up their doctor and he'll he'll be there. So. Um, yeah, they they do not have a lottery system. On the case of our uh, Jack Tag, he did get treatment. How about how about um, the long lines though? How about the long lines, Chris? Uh, could you could you repeat that, please? As it, how about the long lines due to the uh, increased regulations from the government-controlled health care? Uh, Look, I, I already see. told you we're seeing the we're seeing the negative effects of it here. Uh, I don't think premiums are skyrocketing, Chris. Premiums are skyrocketing. People are going to lose their employee-based uh, health care insurance. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, uh, Obamacare will cause 7 million Americans to lose their employer-based health care insurance because many of the Obamacare benefits will make many plans more expensive, and this in turn will prompt employers to drop coverage. I have an article right in front of me, Chris. This is not a good thing for our country. It does not work. Now, let me go back to this idea of socialism. Do you agree with what I said that in in America, I don't know what you guys do over there, but in America, I'm a conservative because I believe you work hard for your own life, not to subsidize someone else. Do you agree with me on that? Um, I, I can see where you're coming from, yes, but uh, I I'd, um, I think that everyone, this is going to sound a bit socialist, I think that uh, if, if you do great for yourself, 
yeah, that's 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 great for you. You should keep some of what you you earn. But I think no, you could she, you could you should keep a, most of it though. Essentially, you should keep most of it. Yeah, yeah, most of it. But I think that uh, everybody has their part, you know. No, I don't know. What what are you talking about? What do you mean everyone has their part? Um. Okay. Um. Everybody has their part to give to the needy, and so the needy can jump off of that. No, and no, that's not, you're missing the point, Chris. Everyone doesn't have a part to do that. If you want to do it out of the goodness of your heart, all the more power to you. But the government has no right to enforce laws that mandate the redistribution of wealth. That's not right. Your money is your money because you earned it. You don't have the right to share. That's not, a, that's not one of our duties, if you make money, you keep it. This is where you liberals are all screwed up. You work to in, in, improve your life, not someone else's. Do you understand that? Do you understand what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. I do. It, it's just, it's just so frustrating because it's. I, I, I've explained this so many times. You don't have you don't have a a right to subsidize someone else. You don't have a right mm -hmm. to get money from someone else. You have the right to pursue happiness, not to get it. Do you understand? I agree with you 100% there. All right, well then why why are you saying that it's people's duty to give some of their money to other people? That's not their duty. Okay. All right, let me let me rephrase my belief. I believe that, um, you know, I, I do stand by the fact that uh, people should keep most of their money. That's, a, that's conservative, I'd say. Um but I also think that some of it should should uh, help the needy. I've got a question. Are you against welfare? Or you're for, you for? Because I've heard you talk about it, but I've never really got a I need, clear I think, of your stance. I think it needs to be reformed because I think there are many people that are taking advantage of the welfare system. Of course, we have safety nets in this country for those who are unemployed. But what's going on now is people are using the welfare system as a permanent income source. Oh, I've, uh, from what I've read, I, I've, I, I've, I read that you can only be on welfare for five years. Five years, yeah, that's a long time to be on welfare. Chris, do you know what an EBT card is? I talked about this in one of my program, in one of my episodes. Uh, I, I do know what an EBT card is. What do you think uh, about I that? America, it's it's I, ridiculous, uh, isn't it? I, I don't. Yeah, some of it is, but I think, you know, it's good to have food sense, but my God, to use it for everything, that's just a bit sad. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Chris. It's getting out of hand, welfare needs to be reformed, and our president hasn't taken the steps to do that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> oh, God, what was the other thing? Oh, uh, and the other thing I wanted to, to, uh, to talk about was... Um, I don't think many people talk this about uh, to you about um, uh, the military. Okay. What, what is your sense on uh, national defense? In the words of Ronald Reagan, Chris, we need peace through strength. So essentially you're saying we need... Well, I think there are certain police. aspects of the military that we could maybe cut back on. But, could you give me some examples? But I wouldn't drastically... Cut it. I mean, there, there's little. I mean, maybe uh, our our technology and our our development in in specific types of weapons could be cut back a little bit. But what Obama wants to do, and many on the far left, they want to cut it drastically. And uh, unfortunately, that's the only thing that they want to cut. We have a 16.5 trillion dollar debt in this country. It's going on 17 trillion, and the only thing that they ever want to cut is military. I'm saying that we could m maybe cut it a little, debate it here and there, find little areas where we can cut, but they want to cut it drastically. Obama wants to decrease our, the amount of nuclear weapons we have in this country. Drastically. Um, I believe in peace through strength, as Ronald Reagan said. So I do believe that we need a strong military. That's not to say that there aren't some cuts that can be made here and there throughout the years. But I do believe we need a strong national defense. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, didn't you know that Russia is also cutting back on their nuclear weapons? Don't you think that we should... Why All right, then what's Obama doing about North... How about North Korea? What's Obama doing about North Korea? 
Obama's in uh, favor. Obama said that he's in favor of the whole, uh, all the all the nations on Earth cutting back on their nuclear weapons. Yet North Korea, they're building them. What's he doing about that? What's he doing about the Middle uh, East and their development of nuclear weapons? Nothing, because I he just cares about decreasing the number we have. Um, I think the thing is, is that North Korea. Okay, how do I put this? If they do anything, they would be squashed. I mean, it's not like getting rid of all. Well, that doesn't matter. Our nukes. England, and it's not like all of us are getting rid of our nukes. The thing is, is that if North Korea does anything, th th essentially what they're doing is they're just saber rattling. They're just like, oh yes, we'll we'll get nuclear weapons, and you you guys will stand no chance, which is complete and utter. Well, it's bull. They they don't stand a chance. Well, whether frankly, or not they stand a chance, turn their back on them. whether or not they stand a chance, why hasn't Obama said anything about it? Because if he's so in I, favor I don't of think decreasing, maybe he doesn't take them seriously. Hold on now. They've if, made this threat before. Hold on now. If he's so in favor of decreasing the amount of nuclear weapons in this world, why isn't he saying anything to Iran? Why isn't he saying anything to North Korea? I believe he, he. I believe he did say something a few weeks ago. No, he, has, he hasn't uh, addressed do, North I Korea. I do try to stay informed on American news. Uh, well, he I hasn't think, addressed North Korea. Oh, uh, North Korea. I think he said something on Iran, such as you know, oh, we'll we'll beat you, that sort of stuff. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's it, it's kind of a mixed bag. Um. Oh, uh, something else that, that we probably have very differing uh, stances on. All right, make it quick, because uh, I only have about a minute left. Oh, really? Yeah, but go quick. Go ahead. Oh, I, oh uh, uh, gun crime. Uh, just something that's kind of interesting in uh, over here in England. Um, the One of the loopholes over here, because we don't have uh, any you know handguns or assault rifles, uh, you can easily buy a deactivated rifle. <laughs> the loophole is you can reactivate it, but getting the parts is pretty dif difficult. Yeah. They're taking it very seriously over here, but I, it has worked, I, I must say. Well, I've read statistics. 20 low. I, no, I've read statistics that your homicides have increased. But, uh, Chris, i got to run. Uh, thank you very much for your call. That was Chris from England, folks. I don't know what he's talking about. 20-year low? I've read statistics that their homicides went up since their gun ban. Same with Australia. But what do I know? What do I know? I'm just a conservative. What do I know? Factor Talk Radio.